Well, we're talking loneliness now, especially around the holidays. It's been an issue for some people, but now with the coronavirus outbreak, loneliness has become a reality for so many of us. And before the pandemic, a study said more than 60% of Americans were dealing with loneliness. Then came the lockdowns, the stay at home orders, and now about a third of Americans reported feeling even lonelier than usual. So joining us this morning is Julie Potiker, mindfulness expert, author of an interesting book, Life Falls Apart, But You Don't Have have to mindful methods for staying calm in the midst of chaos. Now, Julie, we're excited to have you on. Good morning to you. So happy to be here. I wish I could see you, but I'm just <laughs> going to imagine you. I see you. And uh, yeah, we want to talk about this so important, especially during the holidays, during a pandemic. None of us have gone through this before, and it's a good time to think about mindfulness. I mean, how does mindfulness and loneliness kind of come together? So I have some tips, because I know we don't have a lot of time, um, that are real action steps that you can do intentionally to take care of yourself. And the first one is called soothing touch. And it's important because it releases a cascade of feel-good hormones in your body so that if you're feeling lonely or scared or or angry and you're entitled to all of those feelings, this is an unprecedented time we're living in, you can do something right away mm -hmm to help yourself feel good. So if you would follow me, sure. studio, oh, we get follow to me, do everybody a... in the viewing <laughs> audience, in the studio and our please, viewers at home, <laughs> please put one hand on your heart okay. and really feel the warmth of your hand on your heart. And then two hands. Oh, it does right? help oh, just kind of, Oh, I just told you, you Netta. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. It reminds one me in... that you're a human. <laughs> I think that's on my heart. I'm going to explain something to you, which is so interesting. <laughs> One to two hands on your belly. Okay. And I know this this takes a little long, and I'm, so I'm speeding it up for TV land. Mm -hmm. Hugging your arms. Okay. Okay. A hug. Cradling your hugs. face. I don't want to hit my microphone, no but problem. it would be two hands. I'm doing it so for So really you. cradling like a mommy would do to a Ooh. child or a daddy to a child. <laughs> then really putting some pressure on your thighs okay. with your palms, then holding your hands together um, in your lap, but I'll show you like mine okay. are held like this. In your lap. And then prayer hands. And that, that hand in hand one is great if you're in public. So if you feel, and this is the mindfulness piece, an uncomfortable emotion come up, like sadness or grief or loneliness, and you do one of these motions that feels good to you, mm -hmm. you'll release endorphins and oxytocin that'll counteract yeah. the cortisol and adrenaline fight, flight, freeze that we get because we're primates when we right. feel ah something that we don't like. So instead of avoiding it or numbing it or stuffing it, you want to name it to tame it. Okay. You say, oh, that's loneliness. And see my hands automatically go to my heart because that's okay. my go-to place. Oh, that's loneliness. And then you can run through rain, name mm -hmm. it to tame it. That's the okay. R. I recognize I'm having loneliness, the A. I'm going to allow it to be here so I can work with it. I hope people at home have been following these steps because that is, I feel better already. I will say, Julie. Thank you. <laughs> we definitely okay, go so through. The I is investigate, Netta. Okay. Why do I feel that way? Well, right. we're in a planetary pandemic. It's the holidays. I can't be with my loved ones. This really stinks. Mm -hmm. See if you can feel where you feel that in your body and place your hands there. Heart Sometimes stomach, people feel it in everywhere. their guts or in mm. their jaw or they've got a headache or whatever. Yeah. Try to send soothing there. Okay. I feel and it right the, in my gut. And the end, <laughs> and this is so big deal right here, nourish. Mm -hmm. What do I need to hear right now? And then what do I need to do right now? Mm -hmm. So the what do I need to hear right now? Netta, you would say to yourself. Uh -huh. Gosh, it's it's horrible to feel this way. I feel for you, sweetheart, but we're going to get through this. We're strong. Or if channeling my mother, this too shall pass, right? Okay. And then what do I need to do right now? And this is where you go to your joy list and you say, oh, I should read a book. I should take mm -hmm. a bath. I should call a friend. Whatever is on your joy list that you've made, which is an important thing to remember to do, Yeah. things things that are possible for you to do. So like taking a vacation right now, we're in a shelter in place. That's not going to be something that you can do right now. Mm -hmm. Right. And then write in your gratitude journal. Okay. 
That's a good one. I mean, really taking steps to remind yourself what you do have, what you are appreciating these days. It's, it's hard to do, but it's it's key. <laughs> it's it's intentional. Yeah. You know, I put little stickers around my environment to remind myself to do these things. Um, I, I keep a here and now stone okay. so that if I feel like I need to ground myself, I, I look at it, I feel it. I wonder where it's been. All that breaks the discursive loop uh. of worrying and ruminating. There's so many things that we can do, keeping up our normal self-care, like making sure we sleep enough, mm -hmm. making sure we eat well, you know, getting outside. We're lucky in San Diego, we can get outside. We right. don't have to be all bundled up, right? Oh, this you is know, so helpful. All the things, moving your body, all the things that all the doctors say you're supposed to do, mm -hmm. intentionally doing it to take care of yourself. Yeah, and I like the idea of a list to remind you of those things that will make you feel good. Ah, thank you so much for being on this morning. Mindful Methods for Life. Tell us the name of your book again. Oh, it's Life Falls Apart, but you don't have to. <laughs> Mindful Methods for Staying Calm in the Midst of Chaos. I'm writing my second book now because good. life actually did fall apart, didn't mm. it? It sure did. Yes, we need all the advice we can get and all the mindfulness tips that you have out there. Thank you for being on this morning. Thank you.